digital life is filled with techno babble, especially when you're buying a digital camera. What's a megapixel? Well, technically it's a million pixels. Does that help? Nah, I didn't think it would. Here's what you need to know about megapixels. If you like to take a lot of pictures and you just want to upload them to the web, the only difference you're going to notice between a 7 megapixel camera and a 12 megapixel camera is the size of the photo files. They're going to be much bigger and they're going to take a lot longer to download and process. So if you're just taking pictures to upload to Facebook or Flickr or anything over 7 megapixels isn't going to help you very much. However, if you like to make paper prints of your pictures or if you like to crop and resize them or if you like to play with the pictures with Photoshop or other programs, more megapixels will give you more flexibility. For example, a 10 megapixel image is 3888 by 2592, which actually equals 10,077,696 pixels. They round it off and they call it 10 megapixels. Now, if you know anything about computer monitors, you know that most monitors can't actually display a 3888 by 2592 image. It's just too big. But if you need to crop the image or if you want to make a real really large print, you'll be grateful for every extra pixel you've captured. So should you spend the money for a 10 megapixel or a 12 megapixel camera? If you can afford it, most higher resolution cameras offer a feature that lets you shoot in lower resolutions when you don't need the extra horsepower. This offers you the best of both worlds, and it's a pretty good reason to buy all the megapixels your budget will allow. If you have questions about digital photography, shoot me an email at Shelly at ShellyPalmer.com. Watch Digital Life with Shelley Palmer Tuesdays at 10 p.m. Eastern on WNBC's New York Nonstop or catch it online anytime at ShellyPalmer.com.